in open to launch, you know, order to launch the camera. On a general level, we have three different kinds of modes in this uh, camera UI. Automatic is for point and shoot kind of situations. Scenes is those situations where you know beforehand that you're going to capture an image, so you have this DSLR kind of like scenes here. Um, let me show you. For instance, this landscape, uh, close-up, portrait, night mode and so on. And then you have this creative mode where you have on the UI more control of the camera. So expose, of course, flash is there, it's always there. Expose the compensation, white balance, ISO and NG filter. Now, now the idea in this device is that we have this 41 megapixel sensor here. And there are two ways to use this 41 megapixel sensor. And they are presented here, so you have two different sensor modes. With peer view, the device is using the 41 million pixels. It's oversampling those pixels so that it's it's getting rid of the noise in the pixels. It's uh, downscaling the pixels to a smaller amount of pixels, getting you eight, five, or three okay. megapixel images. Or then you can use the sensor mode in full resolution when you are not using this peer view technology. So there is no oversampling or no no downscaling. Okay. So I think it's if you set it to full res it will uh, create images very big in terms file of size. file yes. size exactly yeah. okay. in peer view if you select five megapixels the file size is less than one megabyte yeah of course in full resolution if you select aspect ratio four by three the file size is something like 10 megabytes okay. so there is a difference yeah. i will give you an example so i select this peer view in five megapixel can you follow? Yeah. All right. So I will take a, a photo of that bow. So that was now taken with peer view. I will change the camera to the full resolution 4x3 mode. And I still take an image of that, of that bow. Let's see what happens. And now we can compare Maybe this, this is not going to work now because this is so different, but let's see. This was now taken with the peer view. So there is no noise in this image. Uh, the colors are very bright. And this is the level of details you can get with this five megapixel resolution. Okay. Then I'll change to the Oh, sorry, <laughs> I changed to the full resolution image. So this was the 38 megapixel image. Okay. So nice. here you get more details, so you can get deeper into the image, and to the quality is very good. So all in all, you are able to delete it here, share to Facebook. For, uh, Crop the image and you can edit, send or share. So now we are in the still image mode and we can go to the video mode. And we have three different resolution uh, possibilities here full HD, 720, and 360. For instance, taking the 360, I am able to zoom in. 12 times and I get a silent lossless zooming and I still have the video stabilization here as well so if I want to use that and I can zoom in and zoom out even when I'm recording and even if I'm in even if I'm recording with full HD resolution I'm still able to to zoom in and zoom out And Did you get it? Yeah, Good. yeah. And what about the main UI? I mean the so operating system. Some, yeah. yeah, okay. So in this one we are we are using Symbian platform and the software version is Bell Feedback One. So 
it has all the functions that we have in smartphones. So of course you have, you can create calls, you have internet browser, calendar, email, SMS, MMS, we even have NFC here, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Bluetooth and so on. Nokia Maps is available here so you can navigate with this one. Okay, thank you. So we even have uh, Multiple several home screens, yes. Homes. Okay. How can you customize the uh, home? Yeah. You can, by long pressing here, you can add widgets or sort, or you can add shortcuts, or you can, sorry, you can change the place of the shortcuts or widgets, or you can change the wallpaper. Okay. Like that. Okay, thanks.